What's up guys, it's Core here. This is uh, Redfish Bluefish here on YouTube. Uh, so the other day I posted something on Instagram and said, hey, anybody who's following me, go ahead, throw a comment. Uh, tell me if you guys want a tour of my rainbow fish tank or if you guys want a tour of my nano fish tank since I haven't done a video in quite a while. And the only person who left any kind of comment was Lucas.Reef.2301. Uh, I might leave his Instagram down in the description. Uh, he's the only one who commented, and his comment was to do a tour of my fry tank. So in today's video, I'm going to do a real quick overview of my fry tank, what I've got going on, and what's going on there. So here we go. So as you'll see, this is my corner. It's a mess. This is my rainbow tank over here in the corner, but it's an absolute disaster right now because i got a million and a half projects going on. Um, yes, that's my temp gun. Everyone everyone should have one. Um, this is a, I won't rotate because that'll mess you guys' video up, 20 gallon long on a custom built 2x4 stand, of course. Um, currently, I have in it 25 sword tail fry. Uh, those guys were birthed uh, the Monday before Thanksgiving happened, so like the 19th or something along there. Um, so these guys are maybe a week or two old. Um, and no, I do not mistreat my fish. This is literally two days of poop. They're disgusting. Uh, sponge filter, uh, running off a Tetra 30 air pump that's currently powering my quarantine tank and large fish tank, or my 55 rainbow tank as well. Um, it has got a Marineland 100 watt heater, and I've just got some fake plant floating here in the top just as a little bit of cover for the fry because they like to hide every now and then. Um, this is actually a terrible day for me to make this video, primarily because I just removed the cherry barb fry the other day and added them to the nano. Um, they're getting along really well with the endlers that we've got in there. Um, I might actually run over there and show you guys that here in a second. But um, yeah, just a little swordtail fry. Uh, 25 of the little guys. Um, they should be a neon sword, but I got the female pregnant, so I'm not sure exactly what she, you know, was with. So we'll see what these guys turn out to be. I'll give you guys an update later on here uh, as they get bigger, as we start to color up and and see what they turn out to be. Uh, let's run over to the Nano for just a second and I'll show you guys that tank real quick. Alright, so here's the Nano. Um, at, since my video on the Nano, I've changed a few things. Um, added a couple more uh, of the Endlers. Uh, there's the Galaxy Rasboras, if it'll focus on him. Probably not, but there's four Galaxy Rasboras in here right now. Um, two Cobra Endlers, and then three regular Endlers. And down here at the bottom, I don't know if you guys can see him down there, but that is a marble, uh, marble sailfin pleco. I uh, picked him up the other day. Really love him. He's, uh, he's kind of just, well, not the other day, it was about a week ago. Um, he just got out of quarantine. He went in with the well, it's been it's been a few weeks. I don't know. I'm losing track of time, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but he did go through his quarantine. Um, I added him in the cherry barbs last night. Not last night. The two two days ago. Sorry. See, losing track. Um, but he's pooping everywhere and clearly loving it. There's one of the cherry barbs there. There's two of them there in the back near that screw tail veil. Um, plant wise. I don't remember what this guy is. This is a piece of driftwood that we added. It's not sinking the best, so we'll kind of see where that goes. Down here we've got dwarf hair grass, uh, screw tail veil in the back there. And it's the girlfriend's tank, so I completely forget what her plants are, but we've got a lot of uh, duckweed uh, along with uh, lettuce and a few other things growing on the top water. Just kind of a Cool all-around tank. Uh, it's definitely not done by any means. Um, so as these videos progress, you guys will get to see this tank 
kind of mature and and turn into something awesome. It's also got the bubble filtration that's run by itself off of a 30 Tetra air pump and another Marine Land 100 watt heater. Uh, lighting, this is just uh, some random LED out of an old fish tank that I think the lid snapped in half on, but the LED was still good. So we kept that for lighting. Um, over here, on this fry tank this is literally a uh sorry guys um led for under your kitchen lamps or under your kitchen uh cabinets so i mean it's it's nothing special but we're not growing plants over here in this tank we're just taking care of some babies so i think they're all right with it um that's a the parent sword tail tank that's quarantine it's uh got a fish in it that doesn't like to eat for some reason. Um, quick glimpse of the rainbow tank. Um, just a real quick bloop. Um, but so let me what you guys think down here in the comments section. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, do all the all the fun things. Let me know what you think of how I'm doing. Um, not really sure uh, when the next video is going to be coming out, but hopefully I'll start doing them every Sunday for you guys, or at least releasing them every Sunday for you guys so uh, you guys have something to see um, yes you probably saw the live tropical fish box back there no you don't get to see that yet uh, that's a surprise for later we'll get there we'll get there I promise I promise um, but go ahead let me know what you think uh, if you like what I'm doing let me know uh, got any suggestions for videos throw them down there in the comments section I do a lot of DIY stuff um, yeah you'll see the Lexan back here projects lots of projects uh, big fan of Joey uh, hope he's doing good during this power outage that he's he's gonna be going through with this big storm he's got coming through uh, hope everything's going going well up there for him um, so you know he's uh, He's where I got quite a bit of my inspiration for some of the stuff I've got going with some of those projects and then and then some of the things I'm going to be doing to the 55 here in the near future, but uh, really awesome guy, really good videos. A uh, lot of inspiration to what I'm doing right now, so uh, let me know guys. I'll catch you next time.